Sineto Ato Nzeribe dies at 83. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarters. So um, this afternoon, a statement was signed by three members of Ato Nzeribe's family, um, Ojiabu Francis and Yewu Nzeribe and uh, the two of his family members. Um, they confirmed the death of senator actor nzeribe according to the statement they released they said the nzeribe royal family of umudir royal village of uguta in the uguta local government area of imo state in total submission to the will of god almighty and in appreciation of a remarkably worthy life here announced the death of our son cousin uncle husband father and grandfather distinguished senator chief francis ato ozoma nzerebe on the 5th of may 2022 at the age of 83. so this is the statement the family released that their father their grandfather their son their uncle has passed on to be with his ancestors Aton Zeribe is a multi billionaire He was born in Uguta, Imo State, on 2nd November 1938 to a lawyer father, Oimba Nzeribe. His second wife is the sister of Hajia Asabe Yaradua, wife of the late General Shewu Musa Yaradua, who was brother of President Omaru Yaradua. Nzeribe was famous for the formation of the famous association for a better nigeria abn which backed general ibrahim babangida in scotland the worldwide acknowledged june 12th election that would have brought in the billionaire chief mko abiola as the popularly elected president mko later died in general sunny abacha's regime Aton Zeribe was a Nigerian politician and a businessman who served as a senator representing Olusu Notoria constituency in Imo State. Aside from politics, he is also a successful businessman and the founder of Founds Organization, a London-based organization that deals in arms, heavy construction, publishing, property investment and oil brokerage. Aton Zeribe lost his mom while he was still in primary school and was taken care of by Catholic priests because his dad was away in Great Britain studying law. After his primary education, he enrolled at Bishop Shanahan College, Olo, for his secondary education, later to complete it at Holy Ghost College, Owere. In 1957, he traveled to Lagos where he secured a job with Nigerian Port Authority, NPA, as an engineering cadet. In 1958, he got a scholarship from the NPA to study marine engineering. He took courses at Postmouth College of Technology and later attended Chestified College of Technology in England. By 1960, Alton Zeribe was selling life insurance to black immigrants in the United Kingdom. Upon his return to Nigeria in 1961, he got employed at Shell where he worked briefly, then as an Air Force cadet for a few months too. He therefore worked for Gulf Oil at the firm's Esgravos facility. He soon left oil to return to london where he alongside one Ghanaian and two english partners opened a public relations um this was a public relation firm called jim fan the firm worked with a number of african diplomatic missions in london including the ghana high commission through the ghana commission he met Kwama Nkrumah and started to work for him in public relations. In 1966, 
when the National Liberation Council, NLC, overthrew Nkrumah, Jefan briefly lost influence in Ghana, but the NLC leadership soon turned to the fame to help improve the public image of their administration. Atton Zeribet developed a working relationship with Joseph Atto Accra, head of the Liberation Council, but when Joseph left office in April 1969, Atto Nzeribe lost influence in Ghana. In 1969, Atto Nzeribe started up the fans organization based in London, dealing with arms and heavy construction like I mentioned before. Atto Nzeribe is happily married with children. His second wife is the sister of Hajia, which I've already told you guys. In 1999, Atonzeribe got elected as the senator representing the Olu constituency of Imo State. He was re-elected in 2003. In the December 2006 PDP primaries for the 2007 senatorial candidates, Aton Zeribe was defeated by Osta Izunaso. In August 2007, he was appointed a member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Aton Zeribe was one of the most influential and richest politi politicians during his time. It was reported that he bought his first Rolls Royce vehicle in 1961 at the age of 23. Zeribe's country home in Ukuta, Imo State is called Heaven of Peace, an estate that contains multiple mansions. Like guys, I've been there twice growing up. I've been there twice. I wonder how that place would look like right now. As of 2018, Aton Zeribe is believed to be worth over $1.5 billion. Then in 2021, Aton Zeribe was said to worth more than $2.5 billion. Yes, today, Aton Zeribe joins his ancestors. Guys, if you watch this video up to this moment, you have to learn something no matter who you are no matter your wealth one day you will say bye bye to all those things but for now enjoy yourself be good love people be kind show love to strangers you know what what will you be remembered for when you are gone if you go to comment sections you know a lot of people are praising Aton Zeribe why a lot of people are not praising him you that is watching this video what will you be remembered for when you are gone anyway for now may his soul and the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of god rest in peace may god console his family and give them the strong heart to you know bear this great loss rest on Ato Zeribe rest on Uzoma Ato Zeribe